What's up, everyone? And welcome back to my let's play of Tales of Arise from the Sony PlayStation 4. So yeah, how's everyone doing today? Good? Good for me too. Alright, let's go ahead and get this party started. This place is rather gloomy. Why don't you lighten the mood for us while we're here then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Let's go for it. No wonder we couldn't manage to find them. They've been holed up here all this time, hiding. The remnants of Voron's forces. You think they were planning an ambush on Pelegion? Possibly. Then again, knowing how blind their devotion is, maybe they were just waiting. Waiting? For Voron, you mean? Even though we already defeated him? But, yes, I suppose you're right. For these guys, that would just be a technicality. They act more like worshippers than subjects. They're probably still in denial that he was overthrown in the first place. Either that, or they were biding their time until the next crown contest. Either way, their allegiance is to their lord. Who they're convinced and expectant will return. So in the meantime, they wait patiently in preparation for the day that he finally does. That's way more than just loyalty. It's no less than total subjugation. Yeah. There is nothing we can do. So, yeah. Oh, this looks dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So let's go check it out. Tough Zoogles. You're finished. Here I come. Burn now. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Did you see? Sure did. You were checking out Kisara from behind. No time. You've noticed it, haven't you? Notice what? I'm referring to Shion. I never thought you of all people would come to me about her. Yes, well, what concerns me has more to do with what machinations may be currently unfolding in secret on Lenigus as we make our way along this tunnel. And you're saying it's related to Shion in some way? Perhaps. She believed there was a good possibility that the Renis Alma may free her from her thorns. One would think after losing the Renis Alma, she would be more dismayed, and yet she isn't. Why? There's also the matter of the power that she inherited from. You heard what she said. She didn't know about the Maiden's power. Mere ignorance does not preclude her deep connection to the events unfolding around us. You recall when her thorns went rampant in Castle Del Faris. I've never seen dark astral energy manifest in such a way. I thought you said all Renans had dark astral energy inside of them. Correct. However, what Xion exhibited was far beyond what any ordinary citizen could ever possibly possess. <laughs> Let me be clear. I do not intend to cast doubt on Xion or her motives. Nevertheless, I cannot shake the feeling that there's more to all of this than what we currently know. Do you disagree? <laughs> I wouldn't disagree. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and keep on moving. Okay. First things first. Alright. Let's go.
You're tough Zoogles. It's obvious that people used to go through here in order to get to the other realms. You think Volron really did seal it off to keep it hidden then? Seems like it. Those soldiers we encountered might have known about it, They've chosen to hide out here. But with the entrance collapsed and exposed, they must have been forced to come out of hiding. Press a chest. Open it. Oh, great. These Zuglos are tough. I have no idea. I'm not done. Not if I can help it. Not a bad start. Barely a blip on our radar. You can say that again. Wait a minute. I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's over. Go, go, go. You picked the wrong fight. Say no more. Go, go, go. Say no more. That astral energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had. Let's go. Treasure chest. This will make us even more formidable. It sure will. It sure will. Do they have to steal from us to be satisfied? What's that thing's purpose anyway? Some kind of siphon that sends the astral energy the Lord's harvested to Lenigus? Not as far as I'm aware. That said, it has become evident since the forming of the Renes Alma, as well as other recent events, that my insight may be thin. I would, as I believe the saying goes, take what I say with a grain of salt. No, Halim. At the very least, I believe we can assume that whoever is pulling the strings behind the scenes has had this in the works for quite some time. Why is that? The people on Lenigus may have plenty of resources at their disposal, but not even they could prepare something like that in a mere month. Something of that magnitude takes considerable time, as well as a predetermined goal in mind. Then what was the crown contest for? At this stage, I think it was but one step in the greater scheme we see unfolding before us. What that scheme is exactly, I haven't a clue. For now, I believe we should keep moving. The path continues. It's quite possible it will take us all the way to Cislodia. Agreed. Let's keep moving. So Xion's thorns are dark astral energy. Rinwell. Are you worried about Xion? Of course I am. But I don't know how to talk to her about it. You and me both. Red Woman and the Lights. Come to think of it, what happened to those four lights that fell from Lenigus along with the Wedge? All four of them scattered in different directions. It's anyone's guess where on Dana they might have landed. I'm not entirely sure. 
but it seemed like those lights may have all been different elements of astral energy. So even though they're using the wedge to siphon off energy from Dana, they're shooting it back down to Dana as well? Why? I don't know. It all happened so suddenly. Hopefully it's not a sign of some new threat we'll have to deal with. But if that red woman has anything to do with the wedge, then what could that light... It's weird, isn't it? Oh? The red woman. Shion and Dohalim said they'd never seen her before Pelagian. Are you saying they're lying to us? No, it's not that I think they're lying, just... There has to be some reason for it, right? Well, one thing the two of them have in common is that they're both Renans. Okay, you two. Put a pin in it for now. I know that we're in the dark about a lot, but for now, let's focus on getting through these mountains. Yeah, of course. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. This will be a delicious piece of cake. You're finished. I'm on it. Let's give it a shot. Go, go. I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> yup. Exactly. This could be useful. Very, very useful. Yo, that's a lot. That is a lot of stuff. So, yeah. Yo, this is pretty tough. Power to the wind. Yo, Alfin is dying so fast. I can't let that happen. Gotcha. My fists are crushing it out there. You said it, Law. You said it. After we pass the peak, La. Yeah, we're getting close. Super close, I would say. Let's give it a shot. No matter what happens, we'll get there. Oh boy. Go no further. No further after all. Here I come. All yours. Say no more. Got it. Gotcha. Barely a blip on our radar. Nothing to it. No. I am not lo losing my poison gels. No sirree.
Is it just me or is anyone else peckish? I don't think so. So goes. No choice. No choice after all. No further. No further after all. Not if I can help it. Where you swung and missed, right? Not that part. Nope. Not interested. Not interested. I already keep moving. So yeah. Yo. Cislodio Didn't see that coming We made it to Cislodia We need to get that bridge down somehow It looks like we can control it from our side Let's take a closer look Are you okay, Law? Hmm? Oh, fine. Just thinking. The past is a real downer. That's why I'm focused on what's ahead of me. You? Yeah. I'm going to stay the path. As long as we're all together, I know we'll be alright. Same here. Now let's get moving. All right, let's go ahead and use the device switch right over here. <laughs> Low down the bridge. Bam. Oh, good. We can cross through here. Finally. Finally, at last. Stop! Who goes there? My name is Alfin. We're not your enemies. Did you say Alfin? Slap me silly, it really is you! Forgetting someone? Renwell! Oh, glad to see you're doing okay. What are you guys doing out here? We're patrolling the realm. Never thought I'd bump into you all on my rounds, though. Heck, enough of me, though. What's going on up in the sky? Feels like the world's gonna end. That's what we're trying to figure out ourselves. And as it happens, I've got a big favor to ask. I had an inkling that's why you'd come back, as soon as I saw you in the distance. So you beat all the lords, huh? Damn, you really must be a hero. I just did what I had to. So can you send anybody to help Ganeth Heros? I think we can help out. I'll hit up the other resistance groups and rustle up some support. I doubt they'll have a problem sending people once I mention it's you who's asking. Thanks. If you guys can help out, that'll give us a chance to do something about that wedge out in the ocean. Yeah, I think that's something only you guys can handle. Speaking of which, that thing's out in the middle of the ocean. How do you even plan on reaching it? By boat. We're about to go look for one. No rest for the weary, I see. Hey, what happened to that mask you used to wear? It's a long story. Let's just say I lost it. 
I sure never expected to run into Bregan. Cislodia's probably in good hands with him. Yeah, now we can focus on finding a ship. Finding a ship. A boat, huh? Where are we gonna find one of those? It's not the kind of thing people just leave lying around. Especially not Renan's. For an Imperial power, they never have shown much interest in maritime expansion. Still, I dare say there should be the odd small vessel here and there. All well and good, but that structure's slap bang in the middle of the ocean. A fishing boat won't cut it. Let's just try to find one that won't sink us halfway out, yeah? Not that it needs to be a huge galley like Almadria's or anything. Just as well since we've passed, let's see, literally zero huge galleys. All I know is we have to reach that thing in the ocean. Anything that might work, I say we try it. A helping hand. Thanks to Bregan, it seems like Ganeth Harrows should be in good hands at least. I wonder who they'll send to look after things. It'll be someone from one of the other resistance organizations, no doubt. They could do a whole lot worse than someone like Doc. A knowledge of medicine would go a long way there. Wait, do you mean the old guy back in Calaglia? Ganeth Harrows would be one hell of a trek from there. He'd have to get here first. My brother's old second-in-command, Lagiel, would be a perfect fit, too. Pity she'll probably still have her hands tied up with work in Menencia. Mahagsar will be the same story. They won't have the manpower as it is, let alone enough to start exporting it. Man, everyone's still struggling to get back on their feet, huh? Knowing Bregan, he'll probably take things into his own hands. He seems like the kind of guy who enjoys a challenge. Thinking back on it now, though, it does kind of make you realize just how many people we've gotten to know in each of the places we visited. That's true. And each and every connection we forged is priceless. Anyway, we can trust Bregan to take care of things from here. Come on, let's focus on the task at hand. Good idea. That's a very, very good idea. Finally, finally I can revisit the worlds again. Finally at last. Find a ship. Okay. I'd rather go ahead and fight more it's Zubas. Freezing. It's always like this in Cislodia. Menencia was most fortunate, I see. Out of our way! You're mine! You're mine! Huh. Let's keep our eyes on the prize. Let's go for it. That was easy. This could be useful. Very, very useful. This is going to be a piece of cake. Perhaps I'll put more faith in you then. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Not a problem after all. Isn't that what we were asked to find? I don't think so. Pow to the wind. We want that by a mile. Hey, didn't we find a recipe? That yeah, we can use this for it. Okay. That could come a useful. That could come a useful. So yeah. Hey, isn't that what we've been trying to find?
I believe so. I believe so. Okay. Hmm. I don't see anything. I just don't see anything. Not a bad start. Not a bad start. We'll see to it that people get sent out of Genev Horrors to look after the place, so don't worry. You guys can stay safe out there, okay? No problem. We'll make sure of it. We'll go ahead and make sure of it. Right. Let's go for it. Okay. Nothing useful here. Nothing useful here. Let's see. I've cooked, cleaned, and sewn. I think that's everything for today. Yeah. Very, very clever. Very, very very clever Fion, could we talk a moment? Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. <sighs> Let me think. Well, have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but that must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? Now that was sweet. You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. Go for it, baby girl. 
Go for it. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Okay. Let me go ahead and save my game. And end off the video right now. Alrighty, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll go ahead and see you guys next time. See you guys and take care. Peace.